Please listen carefully. of your directives to keep this positive, which I'd like to do. Well, uh, this is such an excellent way for the candidates to hear about what all of your individual concerns are about poverty in this region. I've heard people talking about income security, employment security, uh, income support, and housing and health. In the Liberal budget that was introduced on May 1st of this year, many of these issues were addressed. In fact, this was perhaps one of the most progressive budgets ever in Ontario, and it really reflects the priorities of Kathleen Wynne. So I'm going to give you a really quick shopping list of what was in that budget with regard to poverty reduction, keeping a very respectful eye on the yellow card. So minimum wage, we are committed to increase the minimum wage to $11 per hour beginning on June 1st of this year, and that will be indexed to the cost of living. With regard to social assistance reforms, we have increased social assistance rates that have been increased to 23% since 2003. And in the 2013 budget, we increased that amount by 1%. On the Ontario Child Tax Benefit, you're seeing an increase to the OCTB up to $1,310 per child, and that's gonna benefit about half a million families. Healthy Smiles Ontario is expanding its dental care eligibility to an additional 70,000 low-income children. We have compensation increases for personal support workers and ECE workers. Their wages are going to be increased by about $1.50 per hour, and that's going to be retroactive to April 1st of this year. Now, we've heard from families that have adult children with developmental disabilities. In our budget, we were looking at eliminating the wait list. They were heralding us for this. 25,000 families have been waiting, and we are now going to be addressing that. Just got the one minute warning. Affordable housing, the Community Homelessness Prevention Initiative, or CHIPI, allocating 42 million to that for 2014, and we are recommitting to an investment in the affordable housing program of $400 million over five years. So there are some real promises in our budget, and if you vote Liberal, you will see these initiatives enacted. 30 seconds remaining. Okay, well, we want to acknowledge that this was, a, I see Charlie shaking his head there. Uh, this was a wonderful activity, and I hope that I can be invited back to hear more of your concerns and working for you. If I am elected the MPP for Kitchener Center, I will listen to you, I will take your concerns to Queen's Park and be your strong voice there, as I have been for 30 plus years at the local CTV affiliate covering Ontario issues. Thank you very much. <laughs>